Hello everybody, and today we're reacting to What If Season 2, Episode 6, What If Kahori Reshaped the World. Uh, this is a brand new character for What If, like, I, I think I'm saying their name right, it's Kahori? Kahori? I don't know, but we'll, we'll find out as we watch the episode, but this is apparently a brand new character for What If, and I have no idea what this could be, like, I, I am legitimately lost for words. I could not know who this is. I could not even know what the what if of this story is. Like, I don't even know what this could be, even be based off of. So, we're, I'm going in completely blind here. Um, but anyways, last episode was What If Captain Carter Fought the Hydra Stomper, which was a pretty, pretty good episode. Um, where at the end of that episode, Steve presumably died. I don't know. He kind of flew in and exploded the entire red room, but Peggy still somehow thinks he's alive. I don't know. Maybe he is. If he is, then what is that armor made of? Is that armor made of vibranium? Um, but uh, at the very end of that episode, a older looking Nick Fury and not like an age, but like an older time period, Nick Fury and Scarlet Witch plucked, um, Captain Carter from her reality into theirs. How? I I really don't know, but hopefully that gets explained this season, but uh, who knows. But anyways, let's get into what if Kahori reshaped the world? Let's see how this goes. So three, two, one, and play. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. So search her destroyed it. So Ragnarok came a lot sooner in this universe. The Tesseract? Okay. Okay. This is not where I, I could have seen this what if going. But um, okay. Interesting, so, yeah, apparently, so yeah, in this universe, Ragnarok happened a lot, oh, Benedict Cumberpatch, I'll come back to, we'll come back to that, um, so Ragnarok happened a lot earlier in this universe than in the main MCU timeline, but, uh, Benedict Cumberpatch is in this episode, so we're getting Stephen Strange, it will, at least a variant Stephen Strange in this season, well, not this season, this episode, Alrighty, I guess. I kind of wish they didn't put, like, the, the the people's names in the beginning of the Oops, sorry. Beginning of the episode, because last time I was like, wait, Elizabeth Olsen, she's giving me, and then she showed up being, like, the big surprise of the episode. And now Benedict Cumberbatch is in this episode, so. I don't know what's going on. So the Tesseract landed in a tribe, I believe? A North American tribe, maybe? Is this Kahori? Probably not. Oh, hello? Are you Kahori? Who's... Huh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so, sh this is Kohori. Interesting. 
interesting. <laughs> Why? Oh! The old battlefield? What? Oh, that's a lot of dead people. I'm glad they're actually not speaking English, because why would they? Oh, lovely. The lake? The sky? Okay. Big muscly people? What? Did the test wreck create a lake? The forbidden lake. Well, the ducks are fine. <laughs> it's a, it's a funnel. <laughs> yeah, the ducks are fine. Oh, a gunshot. Lovely. Nope. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, this is when. Yeah. Oh boy. Run quickly. Oh, that's got to be the forbidden. Yep. No, he's with decoy ducks. Um. Oh no, don't. Oh no! Well, she fell into the lake. What's gonna happen to her? This lake is very Tesseract field filled, so. Oh, that's just. That's just disgraceful. Yep, that's the Tesseract. Well, well, the Tesseract gave Carol Danvers superpowers. Where the hell is this place? Somewhere of the Nine Realms, at least. Uh, hi. You're glowing. Welcome to Skyworld. Okay. Who are you? Oh, hey, Watcher. Okay. Uh huh. Okay.
Okay. Gohorn. Okay, this is interesting. Yeah, you, you did get shot in the arm, but it seems like you're healed. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely not on Earth anymore. A lot of these people are glowing. Is this because of the Tesseract or? Well, okay, they all have powers of some sort. Okay. We eat their spirits? Huh, okay. What do you mean backwards? A track? Okay. Yeah, I want to... You fell through the portal in the lake. <laughs> Probably because of... <laughs> Hi. Can't. What is that supposed to mean? Yeah, how are you going to go through the portal? We fell into this paradise. Are you meant to be here or... Fountain of Youth. Oh, okay. Okay, so they think it's a Fountain of Youth. Whoa! They'd rather die than give it to you. Looks like she already has powers. And it looks like she hasn't even been been here for that long. Kind of cool. Huh? Interesting. Is this really a good idea? <laughs> good luck. Okay. Oh, K K Kahori. I don't. Oh! Ow. The 
records 14 steps. Couldn't you at least get some like thicker sticks and or branches? Ow, ow, ow. You're you're giving your best, Kahori. The hunt? These are pretty cool powers. The oh, what are these things? That's the best prize. Oh? It's alive, isn't it? Interesting. Wait, they wake up? Well, yeah, I, I guess they were alive. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my. <laughs> Did you have to wake all of them up? Welcome to the new world. <laughs> Alright. This is a very interesting episode. Like, I'm not hating it, not one bit, but this is not where I was going to see. Like, this is just. Probably, like, the most interesting what-if we've got in this season, like, because it's not based off anything we really know. Like, sure, we, we know that Ragnarok happened. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. But yeah, like, we know Ragnarok, and that's, like, pretty much the only thing that's connecting this to, like, the MC. Whoa! You just stop. Yeah, very. Oh. Uh, rock, rock. Uh-oh. What? Oh! Huh. Okay. Well. Okay, did you at least get all the magical stuff off of its back? Uh, Kahori got a lot more. Yeah, Kahori got a lot. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is definitely the most interesting what if. Oh, okay. Interesting. When is this all going to go wrong? This is when it's all going to go wrong. It's not... The Fountain of Youth. Ah. Nope.
Yeah, how's that fountain of youth? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, don't tell me these people are gonna get powers too. Well, this isn't good. Uh, guys, you better get ready for battle. You better prepare for battle. This is going to end very badly. <laughs> Not really. Well, it's about to turn bad. Oh, they're being surrounded. Ooh. Good work. Good work, Kahori. They're all dead. Oh. Oh. You're all dead. Let's just talk, um, no. Come on, guys, you can help her at least. <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh. Oh, that is a beautiful shot. Oh, that is a beautiful shot. You guys have powers. You don't. That's fair. Damn, that's. And she still has her powers. All of you are dead. <laughs> okay, she's a very cool character. I like her. Run, Kohori. Save your people. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh, that's cool. She's so cool. No. Come on, Kahori. Kick their asses. Yeah, honestly, I don't think she needs help of the others. <laughs> I think she's pretty good on her own.
Oh no. He's gonna use. Oh, never mind. I thought he was gonna try to shoot one of the, her, her people. Whew. Okay, now she might need a little bit of help. Ow! Right in the face? That has to hurt. She's not done. Oh, thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Oh, wow. Burying them? Wow. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Oh. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Destroy the ships and save the people. Yeah, you guys don't really stand a chance. <laughs> She did. I like her. <laughs> oh, she's cool. I really like her. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, no, no. That you... Nah. Yeah, you really want to challenge them. Yeah, you really want to challenge them. Oh. She's really cool. You really want it? Yeah, seriously, you really want to challenge the person who just took out your entire fleet? Are uh, you sure about that? No. 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 No.
You have no rule. Oh, Doctor Strange. Oh, it's Supreme Strange. Hey. What? How does he... How does he know Kahori? Huh. Okay. I, I'm not going to say this was my favorite episode. It was a very good episode. Don't get me wrong. But... Wow, okay. That was definitely the most interesting episode. Because it wasn't based on any, like, previous MCU events. Like, like I guess technically it is because, like, oh, Ragnarok, ha Ragnarok happened a lot sooner in the main, in the, this universe. And the Tesseract got blown into North America. But for the most part, this is, like, pretty all new. Like, this is all, like, super fresh stuff. Like... That was very good. I like Kahori. Can we see her in, like, the main MCU? Like, I, I, I don't think... Like, the only way I, I think we could get her in the main MCU is if um they do multiversal travel. Because, like, to get this in, like, the main MCU with the current timeline, it's, like, not really possible. So, yeah, the only way I can see us getting Kahori in the main MCU is if they do some, like, multiversal travel. But, yeah, that was very good. That was very good. That might be my second or third favorite episode. I still think my favorite episode is What If Iron Man Crashed Into the Grandmaster. But, yeah, for second place, it's between What If Happy Hogan Saved Christmas and What If Kahori Reshaped the World. Those two are my favorite episode, second favorite episodes so far. That was, that was really good. I like Kahori. She's cool. She's very cool. But what is Steve, like... Like, not even, it's not even, like, normal. It's, it's Supreme Strange. Why, one, how does he know of her? And two, isn't he supposed to be technically watching the, um... Wait, is it Supreme Strange or is it Dark Strange? Like, is Supreme Strange from, like, the, um, the Multiverse of Madness? I might be, I, I'm just gonna call him Supreme Strange because... I think that's what he's called. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. Why does he, why has he been looking for her? And isn't he technically supposed to be watching like Zola and um, Killmonger from destroying the um, the universe? <laughs> like, he, isn't he supposed to be watching over them? Like, what? Interesting. Like, I don't, I don't know, like, what could be, like, the big old multiverse collapsing, like, story? Like, that, that like, in season one, it, it became pretty clear that the big thing was, oh, Infinity Ultron is taking over. But here, last episode, it was, oh, Captain Carter can save our queen. I don't think it's connected to this. If it is, that is very weird. I don't... I don't know. This is this is getting interesting. I gotta say, I'm definitely liking this season a lot more than the first season. The first season was pretty cool. But this episode... I'm, not this episode in specific, but this season has been a lot more enjoyable, I'd say. Like, season one had some good episodes. Like, the first episode was great. T'Challa Star Lord was awesome. Um, the zombies episode, well, I don't really like zombies. It was still a good episode. And then the Doctor Strange episode was good, too. Um, but the, the Killmonger episode I didn't really like. The the Party Thor episode I didn't like. The, the finale, to the, the What If Ultron one in the finale, I did like those episodes. But, yeah, there was, like, a few episodes I wasn't a big fan of in season one. Every episode here I've really enjoyed. Like, the only one I could say is, like, maybe at the bottom of my list is what if Peter Quill attacked her Smitty's heroes? But even then, that was still really good. But yeah, that I like Kahore. She is very cool. Yeah, that was very good. 
Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like and comment. Here in a moment, there'll be a full playlist of all of my What If Season 2 reactions, as well as this video. YouTube recommends for all of you. Absolutely amazing, amazing, wonderful people. And if you're new to the channel, make sure that subscribe button. I'd very much appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.